Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm playing this deck called Shutterwalk Go OTK. Um, it is the the Come new ridiculously OP deck in the game currently. Um, the most important piece is... Hmm, do I need to keep this? I think I do keep this at the beginning. Hang on. Probably playing Spiteful Priest. I'm gonna keep all these just so I have a hex for a Spiteful Priest and I have draw components and keeping the Shutterwalk. All right, so basically this deck revolves around an OTK combo that you set up with Shutterwalk. Um, the reason Shutterwalk is the best card is because repeat all battle cries uh, from cards you played this game. So what you do is you play four different battle cries. Um, you play this card right here, which summons a copy of this minion. So basically when you play this card, it summons a copy of itself. You play another battle cry that makes it so your battle cries trigger twice. Um, another one that does three damage to your opponent and heals yourself for three. And then another one that returns uh, all your cards from your board to your hand and they all cost one mana. So basically after you play all those cards, you play Shutterwalk and Shutterwalk will copy itself, return itself to your hand, do, do three damage to your opponent, restore your three health to your hand uh, yourself and um sorry for the end so it copies itself returns to hand does the, the damage and healing and also um activates twice or whatever basically the combo kills your opponent and heals yourself and i'll try and show you guys uh i'll try and show you guys uh how the whole thing is set up let me let me attack this I'll play more draw cards here. It's like, this is day two of the release of the expansion. So, this deck is like, apparently it's ridiculously OP. Like, people are getting like 90% win rates, which is like, actually insane. Because basically, all you have to do is play those four battle cries and and then you're good to go. Alright, um... Alright, so I could use... I'm gonna play my Chain Gang here, I think. Yeah, I play Chain Gang here. And then I need to play... So I, that's my first one. We, we need to play this. We need to play... The damage heal card. We need to play this guy right here, which is the return. And we need to play the copy. Or the double battle cry. So this turn we need to play this so it reduces the mana cost of that. It's harvest time. So this is going to reduce the mana costs of the stuff in our hand. The follow-up turn, we play Murmuring Elemental and Grumble. What do we want to do this turn? Probably just Hero Power. I think we just Hero Power. Yep. But this is only like my second or third game playing this deck, so I might make a mistake or I might not play this perfectly. But I just want to show you guys the uh, the concept of it and show you it in action if we can win this game. Okay, he's drawing. This is fine. So we really want to play these guys together. Uh, the reason this is good is because I have to get this battle cry in play, but also having a one mana murmuring elemental to play on our turn ten with Shutterwalk is really good because you can uh, you can guarantee that this uh, activates twice and it sends more Shutterwalks to your hand. So the final combo piece we need, we've already played the return guy we play the double minion we need to play the um the guy that does three damage to his face and heals me for three and then the combo will be complete and we're ready to go um we 
We can Farsight and Taunt. Or I can coin... I'm gonna save my coin. I probably wanna heal this turn. I wonder. Let's heal this turn. Um, we can also attack this and play our our taunt guy. I like that. I actually could have uh, overdrew him a lot by by like attacking first and then playing the heal. But I don't really care too much about that. I just want to make sure that I'm not going to die. That's the most important thing. We might need to hex that. I don't know. It depends on what he does this turn. We really need AoE. We have the 2 damage AoE from this, but... Uh, we need like our Volcano or something. Fine. Lightning Storm is very good. We probably start with a draw here. Um, I could hear a power lightning storm to try and get spell damage. Do I do that? I think I do do that. If I don't get spell damage, then I probably just play this. And we could save our lightning storm. We still need to get. Uh, we still need to get our our. What is it called? I don't know exactly what the card is. It's called Life Drinker. That does three damage to your opponent and heals yourself for three. After we get that, then we can do the combo. But we can't play the combo until we play that card. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. It's fine. Blood Mage Thanos is really good here. Because we can clear the board. We actually got spell damage, so we're guaranteed. More damage on that to clear the board. The Blood Mage Thanos is also really good because it draws a card. Uh, we just need to get our other drinker card. Where's the drinker? We have more stall. We have two more hexes. There's Doomsayer. There's another stall card. Okay, we're going to play Doomsayer for sure. Um, I'll just hex this and then play Doomsayer and Hero Power. If we got Taunt, it'd be really good. I don't think he's going to be able to kill this. Unless he has like Shadow or Pain in his deck, but I don't think he runs Shadow or Pain in his deck. He's just gonna play that because it's a battle cry effect that he can get off, off his cards. His deck's pretty cool because he casts Inner Fire on all his minions, so they all gain attack, and then also this gives all his minions plus one attack. You gonna draw? Hmm, okay. I'm actually happy he did that instead of hitting my face. Oh, he has a rush card. Holy shit. Hmm. Alright, so I can actually just play Primordial Drake here, probably, instead of say, instead of using Volcano. I'm happy with that. We're still stalling. We're stalling out until we can get the until we can get the Life Drinker. Fine. I kind of want him to play more cards so I can walk in a... Oh, shit. Um, I don't think Life Drinker is an elemental, so... I can't draw it with this. I think I just play a Volcano and then Doomsayer here. This will stall out an extra turn for me. I'm getting really close. I have two life drinkers and 10 cards, so. I'm really close to getting the combo off. 
And this Doomsayer is probably going to block him off from playing playing any cards this turn. And the good thing is I got a Taunt, so even if he has like a Rush card again, he can't like rush it and kill it. So he had to skip his turn because of my Doomsayer. And we'll play this just because it's been out of our deck a little bit. Um, I guess we may as well just play this because I don't think it's relevant to keep. Or we just play this. We'll just play that. I don't think I need to keep my uh I don't think I need to keep my coin anymore either. I was keeping coin just in case I might need it, but actually no I think it will help because I can shutterwalk like a murmuring elemental shutterwalk and then coin shutterwalk, I'm pretty sure. So we hex that, because we don't want him to keep continue to grow things. There's a far sight. Come on, give me Oh my god, I cannot believe. Dude, I have to like I have two of them in my bottom five cards that's crazy that's actually so crazy two two of the the bottom five cards is, is life drinker and I need one of them all right so I should get it here okay there we go um so I don't want to play volcano so we just play murmuring elemental that and hero power. Then next turn we play Murmuring Elemental, Shutter Walk, and then Coin Shutter Walk. And we can like do a whole bunch of stuffs. This deck is insane. This deck is actually insane. I'm gonna kill off my own minions because I don't know if it ruins the combo or not, but we just don't want to ch chance anything. So we'll attack here and here. Play Mermaid Elemental, Shutterwalk, and then watch the magic happen. So it does the reduce elemental cost, it summons a copy of, copy of itself, does 3 damage to him and heals me for 3. Uh, it's gonna do 2 damage AoE, I guess. Um, doing the cycle again returns it to my hands I get two of them to my hands for one mana each because that's the effect of the battle cry that returns it now it's going through the whole cycle again it's summoning itself again since I did I played this card which activates battle cries twice it's playing itself again drawing me an elemental I don't have it's doing the reduced cost it's doing the life drinker again three damage to him three to me two damage AoE which is irrelevant Activating double battle cry, putting two more of these to my hand, and I think it's done. So then I can coin this and I can play another one, which is gonna do the whole process over all again. It does three damage to him, heals me for three. Double battle cry, I want a copy of itself. AoE, clear the board a little bit more. Returns two to my hand. <laughs> This deck is broken, dude. They're gonna nerf this. I promise you they're gonna nerf this. They have to. Going through the cycle one more time because of the double battle cry. Three damage to him, heals me for three. Summons two more shutter walks. Returns two more to my hands. And it's going through again. Two damage AoE, clears his board. He has no chance of, of killing me. And my turn's over. So we did like 20 damage to him, we healed to almost full health, uh, and now we just, you know, we'll just kill this. I'm pretty sure we just, yeah we win. I can't play any more cards so it's over. So now it's just going to do the cycle infinitely until we win the game. Until he has no health left. Wow, this this deck is something else, dude. That is insane. Game breaking. There's this is this reminds me of the OTK warrior uh, with what was it? Um, everyone get in here. What is that card? I don't know. There was like a there was an OTK warrior deck like two years ago or three years ago, where like you'd make your attack like 48 in one turn and it would have charge. 
What is that card called? I have time to Google it. It was with, uh... Hmm. What was that card called? I can't remember. It was called Grim Patron. Grim Patron, that's what it was called. That deck was was crazy broken. I don't think they ever completely nerfed it right away, but this I think this deck is a deck that they're gonna they're gonna actually nerf because it's so OP. Wow. This is unreal. <laughs> What a joke, dude. There's nothing you can do about it, unless you just rush them down before they get their combo. But the deck has so much stall. Oh my god. doing the AoE once again and it's about to do the last little bit of damage in a second chain gain and drinker and three damage and three health wow look at this that is ridiculous dude that is so ridiculous so if you guys enjoyed that video enjoyed the deck I'm gonna put a link to the hearth phone deck with the full guide Someone created this on Hearthphone. They spent the time to help us out. So if you guys want to try this out yourself, I'll put it in the description. I highly recommend you try it because it's ridiculously OP and they're probably going to nerf it. So you may as well play it now and have some fun while it's in the game. But yeah, that's the deck. I'll show you guys the list real quick. Um, and then also I'll put the link to the Hearthphone in the description. But there you go, guys. Here's the list. I hope you guys enjoy the video. See you next time.